Now eventually I plan to test just how far they could smell a single drop of blood in the water, but first I wanted proof that they actually preferred blood over any other scent. So for my first experiment, I plan to put four surfboards in the water equidistant from the back of the boat. Each board would host two liters of a different liquid that we would pump into the ocean over the course of an hour. Then using a three meter radius around each board as a gauge, we would use drone footage and count how many sharks went over to check out each board. So this board would be fish oil, which I heard was a general attractant for lots of fish. Then we would have cow's blood here, then seawater here as a control to make sure the sharks weren't just interested in the surfboard, and then finally urine. <laughs> and so with that, we started putting the four boards together. We also started collecting scientific donations from the crew. Oh, it's warm. Oh, dude, it's all in my hands. Your pouring sucks. Oh. Okay. Oh, that stinks. No, no, we're good, we're good. All in the name of science. It's a great time of day to be doing this because we have a lot of sharks. Looking down here, we got oh. three or four lemons on the surface, and I can actually see two tigers down on the bottom, and that's actually a massive tiger that shark down there. Huge. All right, see if you can do a better right. job pouring than I did. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. There's a feeding <laughs> frenzy. Ah, don't move it. It's fine. What do you mean, don't what? move it? I almost lost my hand. You did not. It's not going to jump out of the water. Okay, so we've got seawater as our control, fish oil, we have urine, and cow's blood. It was go time. Operation shark bait test thing commence. Three, two, one, beep. All four are going, we have confirmation. Everything is rolling, the experiment is underway. We'll let them go for an hour, just dripping stuff out. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, Mark, we confirm that all four boards are going to I can see a blood trail as far as I can see on the blood board. We're gonna head back to the boat just so we're not a variable in this experiment. And after 10 minutes, I was really surprised there wasn't a lot of action on any of the boards. About 20 minutes in, things were still pretty quiet, especially at the fish oil, urine, and control boards. But then the blood board started attracting some smaller fish, and soon after, one or two sharks started taking notice. Eventually, with about 15 minutes left, things started getting pretty wild over by the blood board. The blood was spread out and made almost like a blood runway. So you have this surreal line of sharks swimming up this enticing blood trail one after another, only to be super disappointed to find a big piece of styrofoam. We're almost done. Three, two, one. The motors have stopped. Our experiment is done. It's time to go in and review the footage and get a final tally for each board. And what we found was that four sharks went to check out the fish oil, then zero sharks went to check out both the control and the urine, and then the blood board had a direct visit from a whopping 41 sharks.